Good morning. My name is Nikki Griffith, and I'm with Sand Dollar Alpacas. And I'd like to invite you to enter our store today and our studio and take not just a tour, but also watch a demonstration of a brand new product that we are introducing today to help alpaca breeders everywhere learn to do something really cool with all that fiber that comes off of those animals that we raise. So won't you join me as we take a little tour of our farm store and our studio? Follow me. So welcome to the Leather Sand Dollar, which is the on-site farm store of Sand Dollar Alpacas. We also have an online store where a lot of the items that we sell in our farm store are available online as well. Today, we're going to be focusing on one specific product that we actually make here at Sand Dollar Alpacas from our own animal's fleece. There are a lot of alpaca breeders out there who wonder what in the world can I do with all the fleece that is produced? Sometimes it actually ends up in barns or garages, in the bags that it was packed into for years and nothing is ever done with it. We were finding ourselves in the same situation and had quite a collection of unprocessed fleece that we decided we needed to do something with. So the first year, we had a lot of rovings and bats made. And the second year, we took a lot of the roving and had yarns made. And those yarns were made from our own animals' fleeces in all the beautiful natural colors that alpacas produce. And last year, we came across a machine called an Addy knitting machine, which is manufactured in Germany, actually. And once I got my hands on an Addy, I was hooked. I started taking some of the yarns that we had been making and began making hats. Hats like you see here. These hats are 100% alpaca. Some of them are made from a combination of both Surrey and Wakaya. Some of them are Surrey only. Some of them are Wakaya only. And I make the hat to be reversible. So for example, you see this is a black hat with a white brim. You can actually reverse it and have a fawn colored hat with a white brim. So double the hat for the money. We make them in all different styles here in the store and they are probably the most popular item um, that we produce. They're so soft and so warm and people buy one and they come back and they buy more. And generally they buy them for people that spend a lot of time outdoors. They are great for skiers, for hunters, for fisher people, um, anybody that spends a lot of time outdoors. My husband adores his when he is picking up the pastures um, every day. He's wearing his hat. So these are just some of the color combinations that we've produced. I don't think I've ever made the same hat twice. Um, and we have them in different sizes depending on how many um, rows are included in the hat. We even have some that are made from yarns that have been dyed. My husband and I took a dyeing class and we use only natural dyes to dye our yarns. So as you can see, um, all of the hats are different. I don't think I've ever made the same hat twice. And that actually makes it a little bit more fun and creative for me. 
And also notice that um, most of the hats have a plain top like this and they are reversible, but I can also put a lovely floret embellishment on the hat uh, for folks that would prefer that look. So we're going to learn today uh, how to make the hats that you see here. I think that it's a spectacular uh, way of being creative with alpaca fiber that alpaca breeders can do on their own farms in their own times. And you might ask me, how long does it take to make one of these hats? I can make one of these hats in under an hour. Do you believe that? Under an hour we make those hats. And you ask me how much they sell for? We price the hats based on a price per ounce because every hat has a different number of ounces that it weighs. And we sell the hats by the number of ounces. So if it has 5.6 ounces, I multiply that times the price per ounce that we are charging. Alpaca yarn generally costs about 32 to 35 dollars a pound to produce, which is roughly um, two dollars per ounce. I generally sell these hats for between six and eight dollars per ounce. So I have um, a very viable profit margin in the hat and it's not only compensating fee me for the cost of producing the yarn, it is compensating me for the time that it pays me to make the hats. So follow me over to my studio where I will show you how do we begin. So now welcome to my studio. And this is where I create all those beautiful hats like we were showing you over in the store. And this is the machine. This is called an Addy knitting machine, and we're going to demonstrate that in part two of the video. When I first uh, found the Addy machine, I began using some of the yarns that we had had made from our animals, and the yarns had been produced in skeins. And in order to be able to use them, I had to unwind or unskein um, the skein, and you do that with a swift. And there are lots of videos out there on YouTube that show you how to use a swift. And when you are unwinding a skein, you generally are winding it into a ball onto something called a ball winder. So these are two very important pieces of equipment that I find useful if I'm working with skeined yarn. Once I figured out that it would be simpler to have my yarns produced on cones, we went that route with the most recent um, group of yarns that we had produced. And the yarns come from the mill uh, identified with the type of yarn and we actually know which animals produced which yarns. So for example, um, I will write on the cone which animals these came from so that I can market the hat as having been produced by fiber from that animal. And with I will include a picture of the animal on the hang tag so that people um, get a sense of where the fiber actually came from. When the Addy machine first arrives, it's in a box like this. And you get a number of items included with the machine. You get the machine, obviously, but the machine is standing on legs and those have to be screwed into the machine. So they come like this and you just unwrap them from the plastic and screw them in. And then they will also come with leg clamps, which are very uh, useful 
for clamping the Addy to the table so that it does not move when you are using it. It will also come with um, a little kit of some useful products, including stoppers, um, and I'll explain their function in a little bit, as well as some uh, replacement needles in case you ever break a needle. But I should mention, I've made close to 100 hats and I've yet to break a needle. These machines have a lifetime warranty. If anything ever happens to the Addy, it can be returned to the manufacturer for a replacement with a brand new machine. They don't just repair it, they give you a brand new machine. I am so impressed with the quality of the Addy and the company that stands behind it that I have become an Addy dealer. And you can now order your Addy directly from me. I actually will ship it to you at no charge and that ends up um, making quite a bit of savings for you if you decide to invest in the Addy. You ask how much they cost. They are normally $219, um, which sounds like um, a fairly sizable investment, but let me just tell you that they are well worth the investment in the machine. Um, as I mentioned, I've already made close to 100 hats, and if you were to break that down as a cost per hat, you get down to you know almost pennies um, in your production costs for the hat. So that pretty much um, introduces the Addy. I'd also like to tell you just a little bit about how I set out my workspace. There is a little um, book that comes with the Addy and it's full of patterns. There are a couple of extra books that you can buy. The interesting thing about the Addy is it just doesn't do hats. It does all kinds of plain panels which you can then um, assemble together and create an amazing assortment of products. And these can all be created with the alpaca fleeces that you are growing on your farms. So the hat is pretty much just the first step. You're going to get hooked and you're going to want to make a ton of different things with your fleeces. You may even decide to get into hand dyeing and there are a bunch of really wonderful um, books out there that will teach you how to dye the yarns that you create. Other things that I like to have close at hand, and I, I carry these things around with me in a little carry bag, I have a scale. Um, and this is both an ounce and a gram scale. And when the hat is finished, I weigh it, and that's how I price um, the hat. This is my Bible. Um, this is a journal that I keep, and I have a page for every hat that I've made so far. I talk about the yarns that I've used, I talk about how many rows that I've used, um, what kind of uh, weight I end up getting uh, from the product. I will even include samples of the yarns so that it will um, remind me what I've been doing. Another thing I like to keep is a little plastic bag with some tools that I use all the time in making the hats. I've got a pen for recording notes in my journal. I have a small pair of very sharp scissors. I have a little eyeglass repair kit which I use for um, unscrewing the battery on the row counter, which we'll get into in just a minute. I have a couple of small crochet hooks. We'll explain what we use those for. And I have some tapestry needles. So these are all of the things that we need. And I've actually created 
not just this video, but I have a set of instructions here to go along with the video that when you buy your machine from me, I will send to you. So you will have the video as well as the written instructions when you buy your machine. I want you to notice here that I have a couple of baskets of some dyed yarns. And these are yarns that have been purchased. They are very, very beautiful uh, yarns that I've purchased. And one of the things I do, since some people would really like to have color, and some people would really prefer the all natural look, is when I make the hat, um, if I don't have any of my own yarns on hand that I have dyed, I might make part of the hat with the natural colored yarns from my own herd, and then I might make part of the hat with some of the colored yarns that have been purchased. So either way, um, people still get the effect of having a memento from my farm that has been made with yarns from my animals, but they also get to satisfy their need for color um, by picking colors uh, that they may prefer to go with some of the clothing that they wear. In the next video, we're going to introduce how we actually set the machine up, um, how we cast on the hat, how we crank through the rows, how we do some color changes, and um, I hope you'll join me for part two of this video.